We now present uh, at the uh, ASH meeting the results of the two-year analysis and that shows that substantially more patients achieve deep molecular responses if they switch to nilotinib. So we see uh, with a deep molecular response of MR 4.5, which represents four and a half logs below the uh, baseline level, it's a very deep response. We see over 40% of patients achieving that level of response on nilotinib compared to around 20% on imatinib. Uh, particularly important, uh, patients who have not yet achieved a major molecular response, when they go on to the study, 80, over 85 per cent of those patients achieve major molecular response if they switch to nilotinib versus about 50 per cent if they remain on imatinib. That's over the two-year period of analysis. Perhaps even more importantly, uh, over 30, or around 30 per cent of those patients who have not achieved major molecular response when they go on to the study actually achieve an MR 4.5 when they switch to nilotinib uh, by two years of follow-up, compared to just 3% of the patients who remain on imatinib. So we see evidence that for a substantial number of patients who are not really uh, steadily falling in their levels of BCR able, switching to nilotinib does achieve a substantially deeper response over the two-year period. This will uh, hopefully enable us to recruit more patients to uh, kinase inhibitor cessation studies, which will be the long-term uh, aim of this trial.